everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then a very big hello my name is Louise if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that I visited the UK for the first time in two and a half years last week um, so if you don't know I moved from the UK to Canada two and a half years ago with my boyfriend Jake we live in Niagara Falls Ontario in Canada we have permanent residency of Canada we are here forever and I wanted to go and visit my family, so I booked a one-week trip to England to see my family, to see my friends. Now, so many people reached out to me on um, Instagram and said they want to see what I came back with. Now, I obviously have just landed, like, literally three hours ago. I've just got back from Toronto. I've jumped in the shower, and I've got my pyjamas on. So, excuse what I look like, but I thought, if I don't film this now, I won't film it, because I need to pull it all away, because I came home with so much. Now, if you, follow me, if you don't follow me Instagram, then you should, because I catch you all up over there. But when I flew to England, I flew with two suitcases, because I was trying to get in my baby niece's cart that I got her for her birthday, a shopping cart, a Walmart one. And it was so lucky I took the two suitcases, because I came back with a lot more than I went with. And I'm gonna quickly show you the table um, very, very quickly. So this is the table of stuff. And I also <laughs> ignore the action figures in the background because I actually brought back Jake's stuff as well from his home. He has like loads of collectible things. So everything on the table here are things that I brought while I was there or were gifts. This is none of the stuff that I brought back that was actually mine in the first place. I had one whole suitcase full of new stuff, like food and cleaning stuff, and we're gonna go through it, but then we had one whole suitcase full of like all my memories, like my scrapbooks and stuff, which is over on my vlog. If you haven't watched that yet, I would have already uploaded it, so make sure you go and watch it to see what was in that suitcase. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the food first, then I'm gonna go into like the cleaning and bath, and then I'm gonna go into like the home stuff, and then I'm gonna do a haul of the things that I brought in Primark and New Look while I was over there. So, let's start with food first, so then I can pack it away, because trust me, sorry I look a mess and I'm so tired, but I wouldn't have filmed it if I didn't film it now, because I just need to pull it all away, because there's just so much of it. So, there was a lot more food to bring with me, but my suitcases were completely maxed. I thought you was allowed 25 kg, but when I got to the airport, it was 23 kg. So I actually had to put some of this in my hand luggage when I got to the airport, which was an absolute crazy nightmare. But I'll do a separate video of my whole airport process. So the first thing I brought back is two lots of six quavers. Now in England, in the shopping market, in the shopping. <laughs> In the grocery stores, you buy a pack of six of crisps. Now, you call them chips here in Canada. And inside are the mini bags of them. Now, this is a brand new flavour. They used to have this flavour back in the day, and they brought it back out. Quavers are normally like an, a cheese flavour, but this is a prawn cocktail flavour. They are so good. So, we, well, my family picked me up two bags. We've got 12. And trust me, they are not going to last long whatsoever. The next thing we have is flumps. Now, if you don't know what a flump is, so a flump is basically a marshmallow. That's all it is. It's a long marshmallow. You used to buy these in the corner shop for like 10p. They've probably gone up now. My mum got me these. I don't know. But they are so nice. I love flumps. So I brought back four flumps. So the next thing I picked up is actually for my work colleagues. It's a pack of four. So there's three of them. And then I'll keep one is polos. So polos are basically mints. But they have a hole in the middle. And they're literally called polo the mint with the hole. It literally is what it says on the packet. Nothing special about them. They literally just taste like mint. But they're definitely a UK thing. Because I don't think I've seen them over here. Please correct me if I'm wrong on some of this. And also some brands we do have here in Canada. But they don't taste the same. For example, dairy milk is so different in Canada from the UK. But yeah, the next thing I've got is some polos. 
So we are now going to move on to coffee. Now in the UK, a lot of people have like the Tassimo pods. They don't really have the filtered coffee that you have over here in Canada. Now you can buy the filtered coffee machines. They're just not as popular. People love a latte, a cappuccino, a flat white. You wouldn't really go and buy just a filtered coffee. It's not that normal. And me and Jake used to live off these coffees in work. If you were part of our team in Pontins for Saturn, you will know as well, Jake had these in his office and he always made someone make them for him. Um, but they're basically pods. You get eight in a, in a box. They're called Nescaf. I got myself the vanilla latte. And you literally just add it, um, Add it into a mug and add hot water and then it makes you a coffee. So this makes you a vanilla latte and they're so good. And then Jake got himself, he got me to get him an Irish latte. I hate this one. This one is not for me whatsoever. And we got two of the Nescafs, one for me and one for Jake. And the next things we got is exactly the same. It's a little packet of coffee that you add hot water to, but it is actually the Starbucks one and it is a caramel latte. I'm so excited to try this one because I've never tried the Starbucks one. This is of, this is a new one since we've lived in um, Canada. This, is, this wasn't out when we lived in the UK, so I'm excited to try this one. So the next thing is um, from Jake's mum when I went to Birmingham and this is favorite, this is Jake's favorite curry mix. So it's actually called Chinese curry mix and Jake loves making this. It's powder. You literally use a quarter of a bag at a time. I don't know what you mix it with. I've never personally made it myself and I never had it in the UK, but Jake's mum used to make this for him and he loves it and it is really, really tasty. I highly recommend if you see this pack anywhere in the UK. Um, it's so good. It tells you how to make it on the back but I've never personally made it. And you can get three meals from one sachet, so that's six meals. And yeah, so good and so tasty. And normally when we have curry, we have prawn crackers. Now, believe it or not, they don't do prawn crackers over here with your Chinese takeaway. I had a Chinese takeaway with my girlfriends um, on the Saturday night when I stayed on my friends and it had prawn crackers and I was so excited. But Jake's mum picked us up these prawn crackers that we've had before, you put them in hot oil and then they just go like prawn crackers and they taste amazing. And you get so many in a pack. This lasts us for ages. So yeah, she got us two packs of that. So obviously Easter is just around the corner. So we did pick up a few Easter inspired chocolates. The first one is Lindor mini eggs. I absolutely love Lindor chocolate. You get Lindor chocolate here, but these are just the mini eggs version. The next one is Galaxy. Galaxy chocolate is another UK chocolate. It's so smooth. It's very different to dairy milk. It's a lot smoother. And these are eggs with caramel in the middle. And then we got the Dairy Milk Dime. I don't know if you can get these over here or not, but they won't taste the same for sure. So yeah, I absolutely love Dime. So Dairy Milk and Dime, oh my God, so good. Staying on the Easter theme, I picked up some Jelly Babies that are in the shape of chicks. So Jelly Babies is another thing which is UK inspired. I don't think you can buy them over here. I think Jelly Babies is one of those things is that you either love it or hate it. It's got a very weird texture. It's got a hard shell and it's like jelly in the middle. It's super nice. When I open these, I will show you on the vlog. I absolutely love them. I don't know if Jake loves them, but I love them and that's why I got them. And these are the Easter ones because they are in the shape of chicks. They're normally little babies and the... I absolutely love the raspberry flavoured ones. They are so good. And then the last thing of the Easter section is a Easter egg. So I picked this up for Jake. It is an Aero Mint. He absolutely loves Aero Mint. And Easter eggs are super popular in the UK. In our first year in Canada, we actually couldn't find an Easter egg anywhere. They had chocolate chicks, they had chocolate eggs, but you couldn't get an Easter egg that had like chocolate inside with an egg anywhere, unless you went to the English store and it was like $20 because they were imported. 
Then last year, which was our second year, we did see them in a few places, but they were so expensive. But in Asda, you can get them for 70p and 99p. This was a slightly more expensive one, a two pound. You can get four pound ones. But I got Jake an Easter egg because he absolutely loves Easter eggs. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, so I'm like hit or miss. I either fancy it or I don't. But yeah, I got Jake a Oreo Easter egg. So the next thing in the food section is these Nando packs. Now, if you watch our vlogs, you'll know that we absolutely love these. Jake's mum introduced them to us. She sent them and she gave us two. A lemon and lime, which Jake is actually cooking right now, ready for my tea. And then this medium as well. They are super easy. You just add chicken breast in the bag, shake it around, and it tastes exactly like Nando's chicken. But I am so upset with Nando's. Nando's is one of my favorite restaurants in the UK because I love their sweet potato mash. And I went to go order Nando's with my mum on Sunday night and they don't do sweet potato mash anymore. So we didn't order it because that was my favorite thing. Um, so kind of Nando's has gone down in my ratings now. But these bags are brilliant, super easy, super quick to do your teas. And yeah, so we have this one left and we're cooking one right now. Okay, if you're thinking I look a little bit more awake than the last clip, it's because I actually went to sleep. I was so tired and my camera was flashing at me, so I was like, that is a hint to go to sleep. I have just woke up, it's 7.30, and I'm gonna finish this haul for you guys. So the last thing I picked up was the Heroes. I bought this for a gift for the my friends at work. I'm just gonna put it on the table out the back. And inside it's got eclairs, fudge, whisper, dairy milk, crunchy, dip, Dinky Decker, Twill, Dairy Milk Caramel, and Cream Egg. And I hopefully they're gonna absolutely love this. It's all my favorite um, UK chocolate bars. As you can see there. So that is the next thing. We're coming to the end of um, the, the food stuff. So don't you worry, we'll be moving on to something else next. So we got Jake's coffee, so we had to get me some tea bags. Now, these are my favorite tea bags. They're Yorkshire tea, which is like the best brand of tea bag, but these ones are biscuit flavor. So in England, I always used to dip my biscuits in a cup of tea, but these ones taste like biscuits being t dumped in a tea. So I absolutely love this. This is my favorite tea bags by, by far. Then my mum works at M&S, and she got me the Percy Pigs. She got me the Christmas edition ones. And then she got me the normal ones as well. Percy Pig is like their mascot in a way. It's like a little pig. But these are like these soft sweets. They are so, 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 so good. Then we have the Haribo Super Mix. These are different to the ones in Canada. You get little people in these. And people are my favourite. And the milk bottles, they're also my favourite. But these are my favourite Haribo mix. And then Jake must have had one last night because it is now open. But these Happy Hippos. These are by Kinder. And they are the best chocolate ever. They are so, so good. And they're like just enough size as well. They're super tiny, but because they're quite sickly, they're the perfect size. And my grandma always gets me these and sends them and we absolutely love them. And then I think this is the last of the food. I picked this up in the airport and I got three bars of Galaxy chocolate for all the managers at my work. Now Galaxy is another brand of chocolate that's very popular in the UK, like dairy milk, but it's completely different taste. This is a lot smoother and I think it's a lot more richer. Um, it's super nice. If you want to melt chocolate, I would... Ah! Jake's coming to the vlog. As you can see, he's just woke up too. What one did you give me? Oh, Niagara Falls. He's just bought me a cup of coffee. He's missed me lots. Babe, did you have a hungry hippo last night? I didn't even see there was two missing. I thought it was just one. Uh, this is my Niagara Falls mug. I went into the Niag uh, Starbucks in Western. They didn't have the Western Superman ones. I really wanted to get one. So if anyone sees like a Bristol one or anything, let me know and let me know what Starbucks it's in. So yeah, I got the three De Galaxy bars for my managers at work. Hopefully they love it as much as I love it. And it's super good. So that is all the food. Now before I move on, I just want to let you know about food for anybody that's wondering. You can bring food from the UK back to Canada. I was really stressing about it. Like I know you can buy little bits, but obviously I had a I had a huge amount of coffee, to chocolates, to sweets, to crisps, 
And yes, the answer is yes. When I was at the, um, you're at the computer and you have to declare stuff, I did declare that I had dairy, I declared I had food, and I declared I had confectionery. Then when I got to the border, he said, how much is it for resale? I said, it's not for resale. Um, so you just put an X on it and said you don't need to declare it. But every time I come into the border, I will declare it because you never know there might be one officer that's like, you need to declare it. So always declare it um, and then the border man will judge whether you need to get open your suitcase to look at it or not. That is all the food stuff. Now I'm going to quickly move on to medical because it's really quick. So I got, if you watch my what to bring to Canada video, then you'll already know this, but if not, I'll leave it linked down below. But tablets over here are super expensive, especially hay fever tablets. So Jake buys like a packet of 10 and it's like $20, but I got these for $2.75, they're non-drowsy, and inside is pack of, is 30, so there's 60 in there, and Jake takes one of these every day because he, he like suffers with allergies a lot. So I should have bought more really, but I was just in such a rush, I would love to go for 10 days next time because I was just rushing every day. Um, but these are what I brought back, hay fever tablets. Uh, we got quite a lot of these at home, but I brought these as well. They're 16 in a thing, and these are ibuprofen. Uh, so these are just tablets when you've got headaches or you're poorly or whatever. Um, and these were 25p each in um, b and bargains. And you can only buy two, did you know? You can't buy like two ibuprofen and two paracetamol. You have to buy like one of each or just two. Yeah, they've got rules on this now. And the last part of medical I got is paracetamol. So my grandma got me these ones. It's a pack of 100. And then I also picked up these because these were 17p for 16 tablets. Uh, from B&M bargains as well. So we are going to be good for paracetamol for a while. The thing is, we don't take paracetamol every day, believe me. If I've got a headache, I'll take it. If I feel ill, I'll take it. It's just one of those things that's really expensive over here. They call it Advil over here, and I think it's really expensive, especially when these are literally like 50 cents for this money is ridiculous. So whenever we go home, we like to stock up, or if anyone comes over, they also stock up for us as well. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is cleaning products. Now before I get into the cleaning, I did have, if you know me on Instagram, you would have seen, I did have a huge thing of Sephora, but one of my friends reached out and said that you're not allowed to take Sephora on the plane. Um, her name's Hayley, you guys might watch her. She moved over to Vancouver Islands uh, late last year. And basically she had hers confiscated and she said she could have had a fine, but her officer was really nice. So luckily, um, someone reached out before. I think if I took it, you can sneak it in because the guard didn't want to look in my suitcase yesterday. So I could have probably got away with it. But at the same time, you never know what officer you're going to get the other side. And basically, it's because it's flammable, which I never knew and she never knew either. Um, so I didn't pack it, which I was absolutely gutted because I bought a huge thing of Zaflora. I was so excited uh, to make put it in spray bottles and spray around the house and to put it in the sink. But anyway, so I picked up these stuff from B&M Bargain and these are a minky cloth now you're probably thinking Louise what the hell why are you bringing back these do they not have cleaning products in the UK they do but when you're so in love with certain products it's so hard and you miss it so much of course they do cloths and things like that but if you're not from the UK there is a person on Instagram called Mrs. Hint, I'll leave her down below and she's like a crazy cleaning lady and she's amazing she's got all the hacks and she introduced me to all of this stuff. I don't follow her as much anymore, but like I, for a few years I was watching her clean and stuff and it like motivated me to clean. And this is one of her like top recommendations is a minky cloth. You get a big one and a small one and it's like hard. Um, and these are great to clean the oven with, like the top of the stove, and I absolutely love them. And they're from B&M for like 125, so you can't go wrong. The next thing is a, another um, minky, but this is for the bathroom, and it's got like these are great for cleaning the bath. So if you're someone like me who loves a good bath bomb then these are perfect to get the colouring out. I don't know if you can see, but they're like fluffy, and this is Minky Bathroom. The next thing I got is the Scrub Mummy. So the Scrub Mummy is basically, you could put these in the dishwasher, the dishwasher's safe. You just have to dissolve them in water, um, and they go a bit softer. And these are also perfect for pots and pans. And actually, I'll show you the back of it. So pots and pans, and also you can put your cutlery in the mouth, and it like 
makes it more shiny again or inside a mug but yeah these are great when you feel it at first it's super hard but then they've got a I don't know if you can see they've got a soft bit underneath as well but this is the next thing I picked up then the last bit of cleaning stuff is a scrub daddy and it is for dry and dust so there's two different ones and you can use this for bathroom your car your house your kitchen and basically it's a plush microfiber cloth and it just basically traps any dust and surfaces and you can wash these in the washing machine and then reuse them as well and it use like it's gets up 99.9% .9 of bacteria so this will be perfect for TVs and like I said the car uh, so I'll probably give one to Jake to put in the car so that is all the cleaning products the next thing I'm going to show you is for the bathroom and I brought back some Radox now if you don't know what Radox is it's just basically a bubble bath but at the bottom, it tells you what it's for. So this one's for feel pampered. So this one is to make you feel like fresh and revived. The smell is amazing. You pour a tiny, tiny bit into your bath and you get so many bubbles. Now, if you're watching this from the UK thinking, why have you took that bubble bath? Over here, it is so hard to get bubble bath and you cannot get bubble bath like like this like feel pampered or muscle or body soak you can get um the bath salts but bath salts don't make bubbles so i end up buying like kids bubble bath like frozen or the pirate one just because i love bubbles in my bath and then i brought another one back as well and this one is feeling detoxed so this one has clay herbs a kai berry scent and both of these were literally so cheap they were one pound from asda i wish i brought back more i did have a huge muscle soak one it was huge because it was so heavy i have to bring back like these oh my god they're not even that tight on you have to bring back this size one to, so you can like even out your case a bit because that one was so heavy. But I was so excited to have a bubble bath. Uh, I had one last night, but I just didn't have, I couldn't be bothered to open these. I wanted to show you guys them. So yeah, I got two bubble baths. So the next thing I got were my gifts from my girlfriends. So I see my girlfriends on Thursday morning and then Saturday afternoon, Saturday night and Sunday morning we stayed around. And I had the best time. I miss them so much like so so much like when I'm with them it feels like I've never left and yeah it was really nice but they bought me presents for getting PR and all the birthdays and Christmases which were really nice of them they really did not need to do it I kind of got emotional when they gave it to me but they got me a Pandora charm so it's a little coffee cup and then at the top of the coffee cup is like a little heart where the hole is can you guys see that and it's got an O for like a Starbucks coffee, but it's like Pandora coffee. And this is so thoughtful. They say they watch my vlogs. Hey, if you're watching. And they say they always talk about how much I love coffee in the morning and stuff. And they know me too well. And this is so, so cute. And it's so meaningful as well. So I'm going to add that to my charm bracelet today. And I love it. Love it so much. I've never seen that charm either. So that's what makes it so nice. I've never seen it. So it was a really, a really big surprise. And then we got, I need to put this in a frame really. I need to go look for a frame at some point. And then I've got this and basically it says best friends are connected heart to heart, distance and time, no break them apart. And then there's the four of us there and then our names underneath. And look what hair they gave me. They gave me French black. I love that so much because I always have my hair in French plaits and then each of them uh, Maria, Amber, Jade and me and that's our, that, our hairstyles which is so cute and they got me such a cool card as well it's like a little Instagram feed which is awesome and then that's everything for my best friends I, I love it so much and then when I went to Pontins if you don't know I, before I flew to Canada, I lived on a holiday park called Pontins and I was a dancer and Jake was their entertainment manager. And I met one of my old dance friends, Lydia, who I've missed so much. It was so good to be back with her. She was my dance partner for three years. We were super close. Everyone called us Lou and Lids and we knew everything about each other. Like we seen each other in our high days, our low days, like everything. We spent 24 seven together. We were both the supervisors. So we literally, and both the dancers. So we kind of, lived together for three years straight but i met up with her on the third the friday yeah on the friday no actually i met up her on the saturday daytime before i went to my friend's house and then we took a drive to the nearest pontins which 
we didn't work at but it was nice to see and we got a picture with our lovely croc crew that we used to dance with every day and that was really really nice as well i have one home thing and then i have my haul from new look and primark now if you're ever worried about packing anything weird just think louise has probably done it because on the way there i had a shopping cart and on the way back i had a table Yes, you heard it right, a table. Me and my grandma went to B&M Bargains and I fell in love with this table and she kindly brought it for me. It fitted in my suitcase and it did fit in my suitcase so I was so happy. Um, if you haven't had a home tour, I will try and find the most recent one and leave it linked down below or to try and do one quite soon because I feel like we've moved the house around quite a lot. But in my front room, I love wicker. Like wicker is my favorite thing and in my bedroom. So they had this in b and Bargains for 15 pound and it is a wicker table. It is so nice. I can't wait to build this. I'm gonna have to do it on a day off vlog or something with you guys. But if you don't know what B&M is from, if you're from Canada, it's basically a shop that sells everything. I don't even think there's a shop that compared to that here that I can think of. Um, but basically they do food, they do home stuff, they do pets, they do garden stuff, they do kids toys, they do clothes. Like anything you want, you can get it in B&M Bargains for cheap, cheap, cheap. It's so cheap. So this table is £15 and like I said, it's got wicker at the top and it's a lovely wood at the bottom and I got it home. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to move on to is my haul from Primark and New Look. So my mum, both my mums decided to treat me because um, they didn't get me anything for Christmas last year. So we went to New Look and brought a few things. And then I had to go to Birmingham to get my COVID test and to go see Jake's mum. So I went into the big world's biggest, well, I don't think it's the world's biggest Primark anymore. It is, I think. Is it? I think it's the world's biggest Primark. It's got five stories and I ran around that as quick as I could because I wasn't in Birmingham long. So I have a few things. So the first half is from Primark and then the second half is from New Look. So the first thing I got is some socks. Now I thought these socks would look so cool with my Crocs in the summer. They have got clouds on them and it was £2.50 for a pack of two and then this one says good morning beautiful and i think these socks will look so good with my crocs in the summer i want some crocs the next thing is my family were laughing so much when i was packing this they thought i brought these for willow my niece who's one years old they didn't think it was for me but i was trying to explain how like 90s fashion and naughty fashion is coming back in and yes i had both of these when i was like four years old but they were actually for me and they were finding it so funny so i got this necklace which is like I made some last summer out of beads if you remember in one of my vlogs but these are super cool but they were laughing because they were like they thought it was for Willow and that was £4 and then I got these bracelets but I'm also going to use them for anklets as well and they thought these were bracelets for Willow as well but they're not but yeah and those ones were £3 if you don't know, I'm going to New York in May, so watch out for the New York vlogs. I've been so busy this year, Vegas, England, New York, and later on in the year we might be going to a few more places, but you have to watch out. And in New York in May, it's quite nice out, so I wanted to get some summer clothes. So I picked this up from Primark in a medium, it was £6, and it is super stretchy, so it'll be comfortable, and it is this skirt. Now inside the skirt, they have like these two slits either side, and I was going to get the large, but I thought the medium looked huge. I don't know if the sizes are different in the UK to Canada because I would never fit in a medium over here. But this looks so big. Um, but I thought this would be really cute. I'll look like Blair. If you watch Gossip Girl, Blair from New York. I'm going to look like her walking around New York. Because um, I have a lovely bag that will match this that Jake got me from Kate Spade two years ago. So I picked up this skirt with a nice little white tank top. Oh yeah, it's going to look so good. The next thing I got was an oversized t-shirt or a t-shirt dress. It's up to how you wear it. I'll probably wear it with cycle shorts. This was £6 and I got it in a medium as well. And it's got joyful on it. My mum thinks I'm turning into a hippie because of all the stuff I've got. But imagine these with the cycle shorts, with those cloud socks, with my Crocs, and then my necklace. Like, I'm just going to look so fun, so colourful and yeah i absolutely love it and like i said it's an oversized t-shirt this is a medium 
and I can just wear it with some cycle shorts and it'd be nice and easy like if it's super hot outside I'll feel so comfortable because it's just going to be perfect and I absolutely love that that was six pounds if you're from Canada watching this and thinking it's so cheap for all this stuff Primark is a very cheap place to buy clothes but if you convert it back to Canadian dollars um you can actually buy stuff like that over here in outlet which is designer but it just seems so cheap because it's in pounds, obviously. Then the next thing I got is for New York as well. It's this lovely, I love that all the pastel colours are in. It's this lovely dress. It goes all the way down to the knee. It's super stretchy, like really stretchy. It's got a lovely ribbed texture. This was £7 and I got it in a large. And it has this lovely racer shoulder. And I think this is going to be perfect for New York as well. Just walking around. And like I said, the material is amazing. I wish I picked this up in more colours because I really like it. They had it in a black. I don't want it in the white because it will get dirty. But yeah, they had it in a black. And I wish I picked it up in a black because that's like a go-to summer outfit. Like when you want to just chuck something on on top of a bikini to go to the pool. Or chuck it on to go to the grocery store and not be too hot. Like this is perfect. Then I brought this shirt, which I thought would look lovely over that purple dress. If it gets a bit chilly, you could chuck it on on top. This was £13. I got it in a size 10. And it is from Primark as well. And it is just so nice. It's like not a fitted shirt, so it's like goes out to the side. But I thought on top, top of those tees or on top of the um, a white tee with that skirt would look nice or opened up with some jeans. I just thought this was really nice. The material is super thin. So in the summer, this is gonna honestly look so nice. And the last thing I got from Primark was another jumper dress. They only had it in large and extra large. It was six pound and it's literally huge. But I thought this will look so nice with my Crocs. It says Seattle and yeah, it's absolutely huge, but I don't care. I love oversized jumpers and dresses. And I thought that would look really nice. And then the last thing I got from Primark that's not clothes is this bag. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, then you will know I've wanted this bag for such a long time. It's a Disney one from Primark. And it was £12. And it is so, so nice. It's obviously a dupe of another bag. Um, but I don't care. Like, I don't even care that it's a copy of another bag. Because I wanted it because it was Disney themed. Um, but both my mums got me three dresses from Primark. One of them I wore on the plane. So I haven't got it. But it's like a denim dungaree skirt. It's super nice. Then they got me this from New Look. It's just a summer dress. Because we're coming to the end of winter now. I didn't want to buy anything wintry. And at the top it's got bows. And then it's just like a short little summer dress. And I thought this was great just to chuck on for New York. If I go to Florida at any point, that would be perfect. Last thing is this from New Look, size 10, $15.99. I have a ruffle dress like this in green that I wore to Animal Kingdom. But this is just a ruffle red one because I love my green one. It goes with boots in the, in the winter. Um, like little black boots and black tights. But in the summer, it goes with some nice little sandals. And yeah, I finished at perfect timing because my battery's starting to flash again. But I hope you enjoyed what I brought back from the UK. If you've got any questions about travel, I will be uploading a separate video about travel. So send them over on Instagram and I'll be able to answer them. But I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm back in Canada. I'm back making Canadian vlogs. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.